Hey everyone, I don't know about, about you, but I could use a little bit of a break from touch IC replacement. Oh my God. Uh, anyways, I'm working on one that's a little bit easier today. Um, this is an iPhone 5 that was sent in because it had backlight no image. Uh, no prior repair attempts other than screen replacement. That was the only prior repair attempts. So I wanted to show you here what I'm looking at. Uh, let me switch over to just microscope only so you can see a little bit closer. Um, these are the display chokes here right alongside the LCD connector. Uh, we got four of them, one, two, four. This one is missing. Um, I'm willing to bet my left eye that this is the source of the no image issue. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to tell until I replace that little dude. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of flux on it. And I'm gonna flow those pads there with some leaded solder so it will lower our melting point just a little bit. That's not a part that I stock, so I'm going to be grabbing that off of a donor board. Get some lead in. I'm using an iron that's way too big for this. Really difficult for me to get the microscope in focus and also furthermore to do this with my eyes. So let's hit that with a little bit more leaded. I don't like how dull it looks. Okay, we'll take it. I'm not sure how focused that is in for you, but we'll get better. All right, I'm going to kick that aside and just grab a donor board. And as you'll see, this sucker, it's been a donor board for a minute. This is not its first show. All right, and I'm going to go after number three there. I doubt the values are different, but I'm going to use that one anyway. On my donor board, I'm not too concerned about melting everything in my path here, so. There we go. Off it went. Really fast. Kind of surprising. Now my uh, solder I tend these pads with is going to melt considerably lower than the rest of the stuff around it. So no depth perception makes this almost impossible. See if we can get this to go. Hmm, I guess this is what I get from using a mat that's not made for this purpose. As I heat it, the air underneath of it swells. And so does my project. Let's try this once more. Okay, we're not doing that with one eye. It's impossible.
Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay. And my wife just sounded the lunch bell, so I'm going to clip this video right after I show you what this looks like when I've done it with both eyes. Paint it up a little bit. That way it don't look dumb and look sloppy on video. Clean it up real good and then I'll show it to you. Can't have anybody thinking board level rework looks sloppy. Looking sloppy is one thing, but if it's not electrically sound, then I will nitpick. I'm going to say that looks pretty doggone sound. Alright. A quick look at the other side here, if I can get in on it. So it's a little crooked, but as long as we're making good solder contact. I'm not happy with that. I'm actually going to come in alongside that with the micro pencil. Side of it. I like for the solder to look nice and shiny, nice and smooth. Uh, when it's got that grainy look like that, I uh, just I worry about shit coming back. Get a look at this. Mine actually looks better than the ones around it. So anyway, there we are. Little display choke back in place. Let's have a look at the other side of it. You know, ours is just a fuzz crooked. But the solder joints themselves are nice. They wouldn't have that much solder on it if I hadn't bumped it with the micro pencil. 
but I tend to nitpick about that kind of stuff and try to make sure it is uh, is just absolutely extra solid. So uh, I'm actually starving, so I'm going to stop the video. Wife and I are going to take our new baby out and we're going to go eat. And when I come back, I will test run this board and record it on video. Sure, I'm going to be cutting it right after I do the repair and right before the test, but um, I don't really care if you don't believe that I actually fixed this. And who knows, maybe it's not actually fixed. So um, we'll see. I'm going to go eat, come back and test run this, and then move on to my next job, which I'll give you one guess as to what that's going to be. Touch ICs all day long. So I'm actually kind of excited to get stuff other than touch ICs. Um, and I'm excited to get stuff other than touch ICs that also turn out to be water damaged in previous repair attempts. And, oh, by the way, I dropped a hammer on it. Is that, that going to be okay? Can you still fix the touch ICs? So uh, I'm going to go eat, and I'll be back here in a few. Okay, I'm back here after lunch, and I will admit I sat down and I looked at this, and I just couldn't handle that display choke being crooked, so I hit it with a little bit of hot air and let it straighten itself. I'm going to show you one more time what that looks like before I move on and test this. Switch over to the microscope there and give light to the camera. And remember we had four of them there. Um, the camera doesn't capture near as much as what I see with my eyes. Alright, so we had four of these things. We had one, two, three, and four. I got them all in view there. This one here is the one that I replaced. The last time you seen it, it was kind of cockeyed and crooked, and I nitpick over stupid shit, so I wound up nitpicking, and I went ahead and reflowed that thing. And really, seriously, all I did was put some flux on it and let the hot air do its thing. Um, oh, and when it cooled, I did hold down on it with tweezers to make sure it was flat on the board. But uh, anyways, so that's straight. I've replaced one of these display chokes. Let's see if the board works. I bet you that's all it was. I really didn't do any testing whatsoever on this. Um, really, all I did was looked at it with my eyes and thought, wow, that looks like crap. Something's missing. Um, you know what? I'm pretty well confident that this is going to work. I did, I melted the little sticker on the bottom for the camera a little bit because I forgot to take it off. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera back on before I test this thing. That way once it's in the housing, I can leave it in the housing and go on about my day. Camera put on the iPhone 5 board. We're going to plug in our Wi Fi antenna. Click. dot connector, power volume flex, save the battery for last, grab a test screen, F5, I'm not using this other camera in front of me here today, I've got some conflicts between between the microscope and that one, and honestly this microscope camera sort of hogs up like all of the USB bandwidth there is and even causes the mouse to hesitate. So apparently it's like dirty. I don't know. I'm going to be switching that over to HDMI capture here as soon as I can. All right, so I got a screen attached, battery attached, and I'm sure the battery will be dead, right? We got a good sign. I don't know if you can see it or not. A blinking charge the battery icon. This phone had no display with backlight. 
So I'm about 99.9% .9 sure this problem is solved. And um, really all we did was, all I did was looked at it. I knew it had a screen replacement. That was it. No other service history as far as the owner said. So I opened it, looked at it. I peeled the little sticker off so you could see the components around the LCD connector. And really even without the microscope, I could see, hey, there's something missing. Um, but it was just missing one of those little display chokes. I don't even know if I'm calling it the right thing, but I know that they are required for an image on the screen. So, um, we're going to give this battery just a minute for the sake of this video for this phone to come on, but, um, I always say that I'm always just like, let's just wait for it. Dude, I got too much stuff to do. To sit and wait on something that might not ever happen. What if this phone's got like a bad TriStar IC or a bad dot connector? I'll wait all day. I'm going to place money on a bad battery. We've got 4.2 volts in the phone, still thinks the battery's too low. And the battery looks like it's seen better days. Try one of these. We have Apple logo. So anyways, we've got a uh, working touch screen here, um, working display. I've demonstrated here that, that this is a working device. You can barely see it, but we're not doing like a what to click on video. This is a board repair video. So um, that's it for this video. If you've got uh, backlight, no image after screen replacement, you may have a real good look around the LCD connector at the stuff that could have been knocked off. So um, this phone is fixed. I'm going to get this thing buttoned back up and on its way back to our customer. They'll be happy. Have a good day.